This is Ron from Super 8 to Video. This is part three of three of how to change the speed on a Wolverine movie maker film. So I'm going to double click on this Windows Movie Maker and I'm going to drag this film in. This here comes up at the bottom at the very beginning. It takes about 20 seconds because my film is only 15 seconds or so long. A three minute tamp film takes a couple of minutes. So we'll wait till it's done. Okay, now grab this black bar and just pull it over a little bit past the leader tape right about there. Now I'm coming up to Video Tools, Split Clip, left click this one, and then literally just hit Delete. Now we'll play the movie. Now we're going to bring in Dog in Yard, and we're going to bring Dog on the Roof. This one here was Super 8 film, so we're going to set it at 0.6. This one here was 8 millimeter, done at 16 frames a second. So we're going to set it at 0.533. Now this one here was a Super 8 film, so we're going to set it at point six. Now we're going to come up here and save this project. So we're going to go file, save project as. And if you notice, I want it saved to the desktop. So I clicked on the desktop here. And then I'm going to call it AAAA. -A 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 and I'm clicking Save. Now I'm going to minimize this window. And here it is right here. So I'm going to close this down. Drag the project over here so you can see it separately. And what you have to keep in mind, this project when I open it up, it opens up with all the changes. If you notice, the leader is missing from the very first film because it saved all the changes that I've done. These three movies over here are never messed with. The leader that's missing is not missing over here. It only looks at these three movies and makes copies of them. So let's say you want to rename this because you noticed it was misspelled. So now you name it L-E-A-D-E-R. Then you come to Project and open it up. And notice this yellow caution signal here. That's telling you it cannot find the file. Come over here and rename it back like it was. In other words, to the original name. Now when we click on it, it can find it again. Rename it again. And all I'm doing is, is I'm going to put a space in there. So I just put a space. Now when we reopen it, it can't find it again. So be very careful when you're naming things. Now I'm coming over here and deleting this 4A's project. I'm totally deleting it. This is how I actually usually organize my films. I'm going to drag all three films over here.
into that folder called my Mazatlan folder. I'm now closing it out. I'm starting a whole new project now. Now I'm dragging them from my Mazatlan folder. Now it'll take a few minutes for it to prepare all three of these movies, so I'm going to skip to the end. Okay, it's there at the end. Close this down. I'm going to show you one more time how to delete the leader. Grab this black bar. Pull it over to where you want it. Go to Video Tools. Split Clip. Left click the left side. Hit the Delete key on the keyboard. Come up to File. Save Project As. Now what I want to do is, is I want to put this in my Mazatlan folder. Right there. Then I hit Open. So now it says Desktop My Mazatlan Folder. Then I come to My Movie. And I'm going to name it BBB. B. Four Bs. Hit Save. Close this down. Now when we look in My Mazatlan Folder, all my movies are there plus the project. If you notice, the leader tape on the first movie is still there, but when I open up, if you'll notice, the leader's gone on this one because that's the change that I made. So now I'm closing this down. Closing this down. So I'm going to pick up this whole folder and take it to my hard drive and move it here. So now it's copying that entire folder over to my hard drive that is connected via USB. Now when I double click on it, I'm going to go find that folder. Here it is, my Mazatlan folder. Now when I double click this, it can't find any of the files. Keep that in mind, you have to be on the desktop where the folder was originally created. So now when I move it back here, and I close this down, now when I open it up, it can find all the files again. One final thing. Go up here, File, Save Movie. Make sure you put it in the folder you want it in. I'll name this CCC. Hit Save. Now I'm going to skip all of this part. Now I'm double clicking this. This is the movie we just saved. These are the three clips that it came from, or three reels. Now I'm starting it up. And here's the movie. If you notice, that had no leader at the beginning. Now it goes to our dog, and that's it. This is Ron from Super 8 to Video signing off. In just a minute, you'll see a screen just like the one I am filming with my camera now on my computer. Click on this white icon, and then click on this. This takes you to my web page. Scroll down a little bit, 
These three green rectangles are part one, two, and three of how to slow the Wolverine's copied films to the proper speed. With this purple rectangle, you can download Windows Movie Maker for free. It's not as rich in features as Video Studio, but it will get the job done. These three coming soon rectangles will host part one, two, and three of how to set the proper speed for Wolverine films using Video Studio's film editing program. This forthcoming soon rectangle will have a tutorial on the differences between Video Studio X8, X9, and their latest X10 videos editing as of March 27, 2017. This link takes you to Video Studio Ultimate X10 where you can download and try it for 30 days for free. This link takes you to Amazon where you can get more information on Video Studio Ultimate X9 there. I'll be shutting the camera off and the screen will go live for two minutes giving you a chance to link to any of these videos I just showed you. It's going live right now. You now have two minutes to click on the icon to go to the web page I just showed you. I'll be silent now and let you make your choice.